vetting bodies and the national security commissions uh, comprise the CE and senior government officials. Uh, would there be like a conflict of interest? I know the um, the opposition opposition have been trying very hard to tarnish um, this vetting uh, process. I went through a lot of vetting myself. You know why? Because I, I, I have been a member of the Executive Council for nearly 20 years. The joint government, particularly sensitive uh, government department, law enforcement agencies, uh, or you are in the senior echelon of, uh, of Hong Kong government, there is a unit in the police force before and after the changeover in 1907. And I believe this kind of, sort of vetting system, vetting process, and extent of uh, vetting are basically what the British have been doing in Hong Kong before uh, 1907. And they call this background checks. They look at your personal background, they look at your family background, they look at your political background, uh, they do desktop research, and they also sit down with you. They, they actually carry out interviews. They ask you for names, uh, addresses of your siblings, your parents, whether they're still alive, and similar information on your wife's side. And I'm sure the police have a computer that contains data regarding anyone who has a criminal or otherwise dubious record. So they actually run through this. They ask you about your income and your asset uh, and your monthly expenses. And what do you spend your money on? Do you gamble? Do you smoke? Do you drink alcohol? Serious? It's personal, isn't it? Yeah, definitely before um, 1997, if you were a graduate of so-called left-wing school, I don't think you'll pass that thing. I don't think it becomes civil servant. So if you want to be, become a legislative council member, so why shouldn't you be subjected to the same kind of vetting? Some of the other comments, I mean, they mentioned that the central government intended to manipulate Hong Kong's elections, make sure that no opposition parties can get in. What's your views on that? Well, there's no question of letting the opposition party get in. What the central uh, government want to achieve is to make sure that disloyal and patriotic politicians People like those who went to Washington DC um, in 2019 asking the American government to sanction China, their own country, mm -hmm. san sanction Hong Kong, uh, their own community, uh, would not get in uh, to become members of the legislature. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are not talking about uh, just ordinary opposition members. And forgive the expression, these are traitors mm -hmm. and they committed treasonous acts these people should be kept out. I think that's the whole intent of the uh, new decision.